Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today we're going to look at the future perfect continuous tense in affirmative sentences. Now, let us contrast it with Spanish. The structure goes as Sujeto más will más have been más el verbo continuo ando endo y el complemento se aplica. El próximo marzo yo habré estado trabajando en este restaurante por 10 años. I will have been working in this restaurant for 10 years next March. Nosotros habremos estado caminando en el parque por una hora. We will have been walking in the park for an hour. Okay, now that you have seen how to form the future perfect tense in Spanish, let's check out the English. The structure is as follows. The word have or has, depending on the subject. And then, subject plus will plus have been. The past participle form of to be. Plus the verb ending in ing. Plus the complement if it applies. We typically use the future perfect continues to indicate an event that may have started in the past and it will continue until a specific moment of the future. It is necessary to include expressions of time. Also, one of these two uses. Visualize the continuation of the actions or a specific moment on the future or infer consequences. Here are some examples. I will have been meaning to phone Kim ever since I heard she was back in the country. The event will have been taking place since 2020. The people will have been saying that the old factory should be shut down. Just like with the present perfect, your biggest challenge will be to understand when to use has and when to use have. The rest of the sentence should be straightforward. Subject plus will plus have been plus the verb ending in ing. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use the future perfect continuous in English. Good luck!